Hey fellas, and we're back with more tanky action, and we have the Exodus and the KV-122. Uh, this is actually his ace tanker he got in this bugger in this game. And, uh, he who starts out early. Um, <laughs> so, uh, heavy tank, uh, tier 7, uh, I believe it's a premium, yes it is a premium. And, uh, he's going to be playing... Kind of an odd role for this tank. He's gonna he's gonna push up hard, and he's gonna get himself up into the uh, the uh, medium sniper hole, off to the uh, uh, what is it? Right around the G, the the E line, the E6 sniper hole up there on the top, and he's gonna go play up there. Uh, so he pushes out fast and hard. He, he has a you know the, he has a pretty good idea of why you need to get into certain spots right away. It's, you know, it's such a strategic thing. Or tactical thing, and, and he's moving uh, straight o straight away to where he's he's got to go. Uh, we got very little support behind us actually. Uh, the IS6, you know, uh, that is uh, the top tier. He is half over and uh, on the uh, <laughs> the H line, J line. So he pushes up. He's gonna make this hill no matter what. Gets up top of the hill here. Misses his shot, screams by the uh, the uh, TDs that are sitting there. And normally, I think what he's thinking here is that, hey, you know what? I'm safe here. I got, I'm going to be able to take a couple shots at uh, the enemy tanks, and uh, you know they're not going to push up on me. Puts a nice shot into 3002, and uh, just about this time, I think he realizes that. No, no maybe he didn't realize. He uh, sitting here shooting at the top that uh, his team <laughs> has decided not to <laughs> push up and support. So he's got the, <laughs> he's down 335 hit points. Uh, T-34, for some reason, I don't know if he's just completely and utterly not paying attention, uh, decides that he's not going to try to kill X. Um, so he's kind of put himself in a bad spot. He pushed up just a little too far. So X has got him on the side, and he's fuck. He's already up to 1,500 damage. Um, but he's also <laughs> lost almost a thousand uh, hit points. Uh, yeah, uh, that, that sometimes you do get yourself a little too far out ahead. <laughs> but that that's a little unrealistic. That, uh, but then again, with a Black Prince and a Oni, it did take a little while for him to get up here. So now he's up here on the hill, and he's looking for shots on all this fine stuff here in the center. Gets trolled a little bit on RNG, and it doesn't get the 64. That's all right. There's plenty of tanks to kill. Uh, they've essentially won this side of the map, and uh, now they're just kind of uh, hunting around for the last of the uh, of the tanks that are possibly sitting over here. Uh, the other side of the map, the other team actually pushed pretty heavily up to there. Uh, the TVP, uh, he kind of was a sneaky devil. Got around to the back side here, and uh, he's just kind of hanging out. Locks on him, and he donks the shot. Just, ah, let's fucking ram him. Oni rams him, he rams him. Puts him up to 1,600 damage, and uh, now he's got to deal with uh, a few tanks over here uh, that are pushing uh, this line. Uh, now, he is going to play a little bit more conservative now because, you know, he's only got 250 hit points, right? Takes a shot, T71, and uh, you know, I tell him all the time, this is this is Stalin's tank. You don't need to aim. That if that was a blue, full bloom shot, he would have been fine. And uh, and it potentially pretty much proves my point right here. Pulls in, eh, not quite aimed, but she's right down the center, <laughs> right down the center. Love that shit. Love that shit. You know, because you know, <laughs> aiming that's not important, right? So. Still hanging out. Knocks up the 71. Uh, he's got the IS coming up the hill here. He's going to sit here and wait for him to crest. Uh, he's playing, like I said, once again, playing conservative. He doesn't have any hit points. Uh, definitely not for an IS. You know, that's 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 a big boom. And uh, that'll definitely knock him out. Gets a nice shot into the IS. Sets him on fire. Burns him hard. So, puts him up to 25 almost 2,500 damage with that shot. IS still hanging out. Kills the IS. 
and there's still a lot of tanks. Now it's kind of funny, you know, they did win this side, but they did, but there was a fair amount of tanks that pushed into uh, those two TDs in the back, and uh, you know, the game is a lot closer than it probably should be right now at this point. Sitting at a tied up right now, so he's not going to sit, he's not going to rest, he's not going to, you know, hang out and wait to see what happens. He's moving to try to get some different shots. Black Prince uh, comes all the way around from the uh, chain line, and he moves up. And X is thinking, yeah, all right, here we go. Uh, Black Prince is hanging out uh, in the center there. Uh, gives him a chance to move up and lock on the target. Puts a nice shell into the side of him for 394 damage. Puts him up to 2,800. Um, now he still has to worry about, there still, there's still is an arty. And, uh, and there's a good chance that the, he might uh, take a little damage from him. Oni gets dead because I, was, I don't know if you just forgot about the uh, forgot about that um, TDs back there or what. So X is looking for the Black Prince. You know, hey, let's knock him, let's knock him out. Um, Black Prince is a little wiser uh, than the last time. He's not pushing up uh, the ramp anymore. So X is like, you know what, we got him. We got a two on one here, essentially. Uh, Black Prince pushes up, takes a shot, misses. Oh, ISU-152 comes out of nowhere. Where were you? Black Prince just finishes him off. And yes, this is Stalin's tank. Oh, pulls it in nicely. Puts him up with 3,100 damage. Um, now he's got an AT-8. And this tank, you know, even for being a tier 6, it's kind of a pain in the ass to hit pen sometimes. Especially at range. So, uh, X is not going to screw around. Uh, he does have 250 hit points. And most likely that tank has the small little uh, the pew pew gun. So, he's going to try to get in around behind the tank. Uh, flank him. And then uh, put some shells into him. AT-8 I think is a little, uh, actually a little bit busy with the Hellcat who seems to be having some trouble. Uh, penning him from the front at least. Well, like I said, uh, AT-8s, any of those AT series tanks are not always an easiest thing to pen. Um, you know, they, they, they do have some decent armor. So the AT-8s moving around. He's think he was, uh, I think he was thinking that uh, he was going to get another artillery shell. Uh, X comes over the top, waits for it, puts a nice shell onto him, finishes him off, getting him almost up to 3,200 damage. So now we have a stair ammo. Uh, he's going to sit and wait a little bit here. Uh, make sure he goes dark for the uh, artillery. Uh, the stair ammo, Black Prince. Black Prince is having some troubles, it looks like. Uh, stair ammo, uh, if, you, if you've never dealt with them, they, they don't really give a fuck about your armor. Um, that 128 millimeter is a uh, somewhat godly, right? It's uh, shitty chassis. The, uh, the gun is, is something that you can't really argue with. M48, M44 nails a stair ram, and that leaves X with just one Hardy's comeback to kill. And uh, has a pretty good idea where he's at. Uh, I'm not sure. Because uh, he's not sure. Negative, affirmative, which one is it? Are you going to cap or are you going to kill him? Um, <laughs> But we'll find out, I guess. So he's moving up in the cap. Um, you know, he might put a little pressure on the artillery and see if the artillery is going to come for it, uh, come for him. Otherwise, he's going to win it. Or he's going to go and push for it, uh, the artillery. And as the uh, way it's looking like, he's going to say, screw the uh, cap. Uh, I'm going to push uh, for that arty. You notice the route he took. Knocks nothing down. No buildings. No nothing. Uh, moves up. Once again... He's aiming. That's just you. Just you don't do that. <laughs> this is this is Stalin's tank. You get that fucker at full bloom and you fire. So he's got the 44 coming this way. Once again, aims. Ah, just little shit's fast, right? So he's out after the uh, M44, and the M44 has a pretty good chance if he wanted to to actually uh, take him out. Um, you know, 250 is not an odd roll for that tank. You know, it's it's very possible. So, pulls in on the M44. 
Does a little more aiming this time. Oh, finishes him off. Nice game, 3,400 damage. Gets his ace tanker in this game and walks away. A, I'm guessing a happy man, but it's Exodus. You never know. So, oh, guys, enjoyed the replay, and I will have more be coming here shortly.